The sixth annual festival of wreaths is taking place this week in Polly's Island. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth is live at Quigley's next door ahead of the festive tradition. Amanda, whether it's a wreath or a gift basket, we hear donors will be joining the effort to raise funds for SOS Care. Yes, and that's the cool thing about it is you get to go home with a, a beautiful wreath or one of the gift baskets and it's all benefiting SOS Care. And oh my gosh, these wreaths are beautiful. Thank you, Amanda. We're so happy to have you all here today. It's been a wonderful year to get all of these things put together. <laughs> and as you said, all the proceeds this year benefit SOS Care. So we're helping people with intellectual disabilities and autism. I love that. And I have a soft spot. I don't know what it is about wreaths, but I just love them. Well, look Look at the different varieties you have, and they're not just seasonal holiday wreaths, they're spring wreaths, Christmas wreaths, Thanksgiving wreaths, a little bit of everything. I, I think that's what every house needs, right? It's just like a wreath place where you just swap it out for every season. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And there's so many different choices and all of these, you know, yeah, that is so cute. I've never seen like an Easter wreath before. Yeah, <laughs> we've got some cute ones and they're adorned with everything from ceramics for for the fired up studio to everything you can imagine. Oh my gosh, and then of course all the gift baskets too. We can look at those a little bit later. But I I'm especially jealous. Something about gnomes too. It must be because I'm Norwegian. Well, but one of the this. staff at SOS Care made that. <laughs> so, and she also made several other wreaths. No, so oh, we had wow. folks with disabilities make wreaths and some of the staff make wreaths. So yes, we've had some Wonderful volunteers help us wow. supply us with over 70 wreaths and baskets. Well, so. these all look professionally done, so rock on. They did a great job, and people you know, have a few days to come in and make your bid, and you might see my name on a few of these, too, because uh, <laughs> they're really pretty. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. Now, the event kicks off today and runs through Friday. We have a link with more information and how you can get involved over on WPDE.com. 549, tis the season for giving. The sixth annual Festival of Wreaths is taking place in Pauly's Island. ABC 15's Amanda Kinsett is live at Quigley's next door. Amanda, we hear it's not just about wreaths, but about making a difference. It is about making a difference and everything that you bid on, th that money all goes to SOS Care and you guys helping out people in our community. You have a lot of things happening right now. We do, yes. Uh, not only do we uh, help folks from the day of diagnosis, but all through stages of life and we're hoping the proceeds from this festival help our employment program, which supp uh, supplies a job coach to folks who might want to work and need a little bit of like, extra help and some coaching to get through the process. So that's what we're hoping this year's festival uh, helps us with. Right, yeah, absolutely. And there are so many different things. First of all, you have the Rees, and some of them are super creative, like this low country boil one with the different ingredients. But then you have these baskets and whatnot, too, that people can bid on. Absolutely. All the proceeds go to SOS Care, as you mentioned. So a lot of the members of the Polly's Island Litchfield Business Association donated. So we've got members businesses like Frank's and downtown Polly's and Lima Blue and a lot of our businesses donated these baskets so that's been a huge help. And they're really great and all, they all have different themes. I mean you got some, some pets I here. think that one might be Wolfgang, yeah, the uh, barkery down at the hammock shop. So we've got a little bit of everything, some decor items, gift items, you name it. Yeah, look at this. It's like a little Christmas tree made out of oyster, oyster shells. shells yeah. I tell you what, the creativity that goes in to some of these crafts is just amazing. And there are so many things that I want to bid on. I right know. Here. My husband warned me. You bring home <laughs> stuff every year. Well, that's the point. It's for a good cause. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. Now that event kicks off today and runs through Friday. We'll have a link with more information and how you can get involved over on WPDE.com. The sixth annual Festival of Wreaths is taking place this week in Polly's Island. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth is live at Quigley's next door ahead of the festive tradition. Amanda, whether it's a wreath or a gift basket, we hear donors will be joining the effort to raise funds for SOS Care. Yes, SOS Care is the organization that benefits this year from the Festival of Reeds. And there are so many beautiful reeds that you guys have. And they are just amazing. And what a fun, festive way to raise some money. It is, and we're so grateful to Quigley's Next Door. They're our host for this year's event. And Quigley's Pint and Plate is a local brewery that also has this facility for 
weddings and special events and that sort of thing and they do a lot for the community so we're grateful that they're hosting us this year. Yeah, this is really a great venue. I've actually never been in here before and I love the diversity of all the different wreaths that you have uh, for all the seasons, there's sport teams, you know, spring, fall, winter, Christmas, of course, shells and then these are adorable. Oh, those nativity scenes are beautiful. <laughs> So many crafty people in our area. It blows me away every time. But people can bid on these a couple different ways. They can stop in and take a look around and see them in person. They can also go online and make mm -hmm. their bids. Yes, the 32 option website. We'll post a link. We're doing some last minute things to it right now, but there'll be a website available. They can bid from anywhere in the country. And the bidding starts at 10 o'clock this morning. And you can bid right up until Thursday. I love it. And this opens today, too. And people can stop in for the next couple days and see everything that's in here. It gets you in the holiday spirit for sure. sure does. <laughs> I love it. And of course, you guys help out, you know, community members and you're working on a uh, working program too. That's where yes, a lot of the money as I will said, go. A lot of it will help our employment program. We also have a lot of adults that live out at Oak Tree Farm or will be moving out to Oak Tree Farm in January of next year. So this will help them if they're on our employment program and others. Um, so yeah, we're helping everybody that we can with autism and intellectual disabilities. I love it. Now, is there a maximum number of wreaths that you can bid on? No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Just need a space to be able to hang at home. Yeah. Thank you, Amanda. Now, that event kicks off today. It runs through Friday. And we'll have a link with more information on how you can get involved on WPDE.com. Tis the season for giving the sixth annual festival of wreaths is taking place in Polly's Island. ABC 15's Amanda Kinsett is alive at Quigley's next door. Amanda, we hear it's not just about wreaths, but about making a difference. It is, and that's the beautiful thing about it. You, you know, donate and get one of these beautiful wreaths and you're helping out SOS Care. And we are learning now, this blows my mind. So. A wreath starts like this Cut. and then turns into amazingness. <laughs> you have to show me your ways. Okay. So I, I take a, a piece of mesh and I use burlap mesh, not everyone does. And then I make my ruffle and I have to put it on my frame. So I start with this wreath frame. I'm going to put ruffle on it. I have to make 18 ruffles to finish my wreath. So huh. I would go all the way around that. the bottom and the top. And then this is what would. Um, the base would look like when you get done putting right. all the ruffles on. So. And then we move on to this where we have put our sign in already and put what we call ribbon tails in. So these are our ribbon tails and those go around the wreath and every um, tie there is we put ribbon tails in. So we're just going to add this ribbon tail right here. So how long have you been doing this? At least uh, 12 years. Oh wow. Yes. It started as a hobby and turned business, kind of, so. Right, yes, they're so beautiful. <laughs> wow, you. I mean, even this, you know, you had this like halfway done and we thought it was done because it was beautiful <laughs> and then you just started adding more and more stuff. But something about wreaths though, just hanging, it kind of, you know, for example, gets you in the holiday spirit, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, and how do you feel about being a part of this event that helps out SOS Care? I, I'm always in for donating for a great cause, so. Yes, and it is a great cause and some really great wreaths. Thank you, Amanda. Now the event kicks off today and runs through Friday. And we'll have a link with more information and how you can get involved on WPDE.com.